السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان ازمی ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ایکسرسائز 15.2 کوشچن نمبر 28 فرام تھامس کیلکولس 12th ایڈیشن بک دا اسٹیٹمنٹ اف پرابلم از وی ہیو ٹو ایوالویٹ ایف اوور دا کرو ریجن ان دا فرسٹ کوارڈنٹ اف دا ایس ٹی پلین ویئر دا ریجن از فارم بائی دا کرو ایس از ایکول ٹو نیچرل لاگ اف ٹی ٹی از ایکول ٹو 1 اینڈ ٹی ایکول ٹو 2 ان آرڈر ٹو سالو دس کوشچن فرسٹ اف آل وی مسٹ نو دیٹ what will be the graph of s is equal to natural log of t please note that we have st plane means s is our horizontal axis and t is our vertical axis so the graph of s is equal to natural log of t will be look like this or you can say it is the graph of e raised to power s means exponential function e raised to power s in the next step we will plot the other curves here this black line represents our s axis vertical line of the black color represents our t axis this red line is t equal to 1 this blue line is t equal to 2 and this curve is s is equal to natural log of t and what will be the closed region this region is our closed region so look over here i have written with red line t equal to 1 horizontal line just like y equal to 1 t equal to 2 s is equal to natural log of t in our st plane in the next step we have highlighted our region of integration after plotting the region of integration we have to solve this particular function f of s of t is equal to e raised to power s natural log of t for over this particular region for this purpose we will develop a double integral e to the power s natural log of t da now the next question is what will be the value of da which one will be our inner variable and which one is our outer variable from these limits and from these curves you can see that the value of t is t equal to 1 to t equal to 2 the values of t's are constant in our boundaries these are horizontal lines so t will be our outer variable because we always take limits of outer variable as constant numbers and it recommends that s will be our inner variable for inner variable we will use arrow technique from this region we pass a horizontal arrow from left to right this arrow enters the boundary s equal to 0 means along t axis and exit the boundary s is equal to natural log of t so inner limits will be 0 to natural log of t and outer limits will be 1 to 2 for the outer variable we will check the range along the particular axis along the t axis our region varies from 1 to 2 so the limits of t are 1 to 2 in the next step we will isolate inner integral from the outer integral with the help of brackets because we always solve inner integral first and then on the results of inner integral we will apply outer integral so let's start calculating it with respect to s natural log of t is constant we can take it outside and integration of e raised to power s will be performed for the limit 0 to natural log of t integration of e raised to power s is e raised to power s in the next step we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus in the next step we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate this integral e raised to power natural log of t minus e raised to power 0 upper limit minus lower limit then exponential function and natural log function will cancel out each other so we get t here e raised to power 0 will be 1 so the result of inner integral will be natural log of t into t minus 1 now you see that this function natural log of t into t minus 1 has a product of two functions with respect to t and we cannot simplify them so in order to evaluate it we have to apply integration by parts now the formula for the integration by parts is uv dy is equal to u into integral of v dy minus double integral v dy du over dy into dy in this formula if u and v are the function of y then we will use this formula if u and v are the function of t then we can apply this formula on this particular integral so here we will take 
u as natural log of t and u as t minus 1 and we will replace dy with dt in each term. So we have natural log of t integral of t minus 1 dt minus double integral t minus 1 into derivative of natural log of t dt. Integration of t minus 1 will be t square over 2 minus t t square over 2 minus t and the derivative of natural log of t will be 1 over t. Here it is. In the next step, we will simplify these brackets. We will divide t square over 2 minus t with t. Look over there. And then we will integrate it. In the next step, integration of t will be t square over 2 and 2 and 2 will be t square by 4 and the integration of 1 will be t. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we have replaced t with 2 and for lower limit, we have replaced t with 1. So from these limits, you can say natural log of 1 is 0. So this term becomes 0. Here we, From here, we will get uh, 1 by 4 minus 1 into 1. It changed its sign. 1 plus 1 by 4. And from the first bracket here, 2 square over 2 will be 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. And from here, we will get 1. So we are left with 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 4. Answer is 1 by 4. Thank you for watching my video. Allah Hafiz.